Hey guys, my name is David. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to stake a fruit tree or how to put up a support branch for a fruit tree and to like kind of mold it how you want the fruit tree to grow. So my method is probably not the typical way people do it, but that's my channel. I don't do anything ordinary around here. And um, so with fruit tree, I've got one uh, branch here. You can see that's kind of horizontal and I want that to grow upwards because I don't have that much land. I'd rather climb a ladder to pick the fruit than have it just sprawl across the garden. So I have a few steps which are probably going to be very uncommon to stake this, but I find it'd be very effective. So to get this job done, I've got some twine and some scissors. Um, I need to prop this up here and push it upwards. And so to do that, I use a big metal um, screw. So this is the only thing, this is going to be really cheap except for, you know, buying one of these, which I'm sure is very cheap. Um, everything else is basically free. So what I'm going to do is use this to make a hole and then just put this willow branch, I think this is willow, in the ground and then use this fork as the support and then tie it with the twine. So all I'm going to do is use a sledgehammer and line this up. So I need a spot where I can hammer it and it can't be directly below it but looking at this I want the branch to go more this way away from the camera. So I'm going to put the, the stake over here. I push it down a bit, but I use a sledgehammer. And sometimes you can pull these out if you just twist. If not, you can use like a crowbar. And once it's it's loose like this, then you want to just smush it around like this. You make a bit of a bigger hole, and then carefully pull this out. Then we're going to put our willow branch and see if it fits. So it needs to be a bit bigger. Okay, so that should be good now. So now we're going to use the the fork on the branch. move this over here and line this up with the There, now I have the branch perfectly going at the angle that I want. So you can see I've got the angle of the branch now, where I want it to come up. I want it to come up over this way into this kind of empty space up here. So it's just being supported right on this branch here. I really don't even need to tie this one down. This is so sturdy in the ground that it's not going anywhere. I will pack a little bit of um, grass in there just to tighten it up at the top. So I've got tons of dead grass around here, and so we'll just kind of twist that up and then stick it in there. Yeah, and that's not going anywhere. So once that branch kind of solidifies in that position, then I can just cut off the bottom of that willow branch and just pull it out. And then the branch will continue to go upwards. So you can see, uh, you can see it's a really nice angle now how it's, how it's lined up there. And before it was gonna be like a horizontal branch, which would be easy to pick the fruit, but I don't want to shade my garden over there. Now, if you wanna see what it looks like with tying them, cause I didn't have to tie this one, but if you have just a straight branch without a fork, I can show you my blueberry bush that I did last year, which is holding up perfectly well. So this is my blueberry bush. You can see multiple strings coming down because this wing was really wanting to lean. And so we'll move in a little bit closer here, you can see. So all you want to do is look for a knot or a knuckle in the, in the wood and then um, you just tie it to that so there's a bit there and a bit there. Usually this twine will stick to it anyways but if you find a little knuckle or a knot it makes it a lot easier. And then for the actual branches you just want to tie 
like have some big loops. You don't want to tie it on there. You don't want to restrict the growth. So I just have a couple that are just big loops holding these sections up. And these are probably, yeah, like I can actually get rid of this now because it's not even holding it that much. You can see how loose this is. So it has worked, it's, it's propped it upwards. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, why don't you uh, check out this other video or subscribe and until next one, have a great day.